Uh, my name's Nick, and I play guitar. My name's Tim, I play bass. My name's Chris, and I sing. My name's Tom, and I play guitar. Our drummer Fred is deathly ill, uh, and out of the picture, currently, this picture. I think we just um, put together big band and punk. Or big rock stadium ideas. Shock rock. Shock, cock rock. Yeah, so we, it, I think that it just was like big as in like our record sounds big and we didn't know what to call ourselves either, but we definitely think that we are, we could be called a punk band. I mean, so we just wrote that and apparently people have seen that, which is sick. Um, I actually found a series of photographs in the uh, Library of Congress archives. Um, they're from like pre-World War II Depression era, and uh, you know I saw a couple of those pictures of young men falling out of the sky, and thought that uh, you know loosely fit the uh, some of the loose lyrical themes on the album, and uh, the, the like vintage vibe of the photos kind of went with you know some of the throwback, I guess, references in our sound. Well, the production taking a while was definitely in part that like we all, I mean, we were all in school at the time. We did tours. We had months at a time where we didn't record. Um, but I mean, at the same time, we did spend a lot of time producing and adding like layers of auxiliary percussion, um, backup vocals, just things that, you know, organ. Um, I'd say that for the lo-fi thing, I think there is definitely like we want it to be high energy and to be sort of ripping but also be clean, you know what I mean? So it was just a balance. You know, we wanted both of those things. They seemed to be on opposite ends of, the, of a spectrum, and we just tried to choose a place in the middle that we thought represented the band. Um, we wanted to sort of have a kick to it, but also be, you know, have every idea be fully articulated um, and be able to be understood so that when you listen to the album multiple times, you can keep hearing new things that we made sure were present at various uh, to various degrees. Well, those bands like those bands do really well. My Heart to Joy also does really well. Um, th it's definitely a very open, mixed scene. So bands who are on, who might be in totally different scenes in some other area, can all play together. Can all have uh, a place in one scene where all, uh, kids come out and. I think there, I mean, some venue issues have made it more difficult, I think, to do startup type shows because um, there used to be a great venue that we all grew up going to, the Wallingford American Legion, and uh, it's no longer. So that makes it a little bit more difficult, and I think that there's some frustration within the scene that there, there aren't as uh, the regular shows, but as far as the bands that have become sort of the, I don't know, the flagship bands of the state, like it, it has helped. Uh, I think that, that, that those bands are doing well. My Heart to Joy. Just released a new 7-inch, Make to Amend, just released a new full length. Both are great. There are some great new bands from Connecticut. A lot um, of the younger bands are, are starting to really get all their stuff together and get out on the road and do some more extensive touring too, which which definitely helps. That'll help the, the scene back home because that'll draw kids from you know New Jersey and Massachusetts to Connecticut shows and draw bands to play there. Midi and the Modern Dance is doing stuff. Heavy Breath, um, Baby Grand. There, there are a lot of good bands from Connecticut. Who I think people will be discovering, you know, over the next couple months if they haven't already. <sighs> our our dream tour in the sense of like current bands oh, or. Uh, Go, uh, um, do you guys have any ideas? Um, we'd love to be on tour with our friends, obviously. So like, depends how many bands we could have on it. If we could have like one endless, you know. 180 day world tour you know like Metallica Black Album release tour 250 dates um, <laughs> then like we you know we'd want to be with you know like doing Men Admire to Joy and um, Ballads and Composure and Title Fight and Tiger's Jaw and you know Wonder Years all those bands um, we're, ha we're having a great time with those pioneers I mean I think if we were to do it we'd probably want to have it broken up at various points and just get to play with a lot of different friends the 250 day tour yeah, yeah we're planning it right now though so keep a lookout. And I want to tour with the Weekend Dance. I want to tour with Ted Leo. <laughs>
both those bands are sick. I want to. I want to. <clears throat> Black Sabbath, uh, not with Dio, with Ozzy or or Coldplay, so that we can have two Chris Martins on tour. True. Check out our new album uh, from Run for Cover Records. It's uh, you can stream it at a multiple multiple different places if you just search and um, you know follow us on Facebook or Twitter and just come see us at a show and keep checking out Absolute Punk. Thank you guys for supporting us. Ted, we're hoping you're watching this right now. <laughs> and you're just saying, I was wondering if HostageCom, you know, wanted to do something. You know, we do. <laughs>